Local Kitsilano residents are all too familiar with seeing sandbags along the sidewalks near their beachfront homes. I think it's not a good idea. It's a bit of an eyesore. The city of Vancouver is putting up a temporary wall nearly six meters high. It's an attempt to combat potential flooding from extreme high water levels known as king tides. We've done 95 percent of the sandbag. That's just a rough number, but basically we've done enough so that any of the last little bits like closing off this parking area and closing off the pathway over by the concession, there's a few short low stretches that could easily be done in an hour. Tides are expected to rise from the water's edge all the way up to the sidewalks right here in front of this housing area. What the Vancouver Parks Board is suggesting is that sidewalks and parks are to be raised as high as these sandbags to avoid any other future possibilities. These precautions are costing $50,000. The specialist says that beaches should appear the same even if the water rises over. And I think the, that the coastline will look similar. I think we'll have that same great access. It'll still be that great livable amenity. And while some natural beauty may be lost, some residents are choosing to go with the flow. We were just talking about what the neighbors must be thinking when they've got a bunch of cheap sandbags trying to keep the water out of their basements. Either way, it needs some kind of a wall or there'll be devastation in quite a few of the houses around here. The king tides are expected to roar off the shore as early as November 27th. Kyle Balzer in Kitsilano for BCIT Magazine. As Canadians remembered the sacrifices made for them this week, my co-anchor Katie Johnson tells the story of one man who chooses to share his past experiences with the current generation, hoping to impact their future. This year marks the 50th anniversary for BCIT's Link magazine, and our Sally Barber got a glimpse into the history of the publication. It's a family affair for Tyler and Jordan Kozlowski, as they lace up for the same team for the first time in their volleyball careers. The brothers both came from the same high school in Abbotsford, but because of their four-year age gap, they were unable to play together. I kind of knew that it would happen. He was a successful, successful volleyball player, and coming through the system of Fraser Valley and MEI, I, I had my suspicions that he would come, and once he signed, it was awesome. To be able to have one year with my younger brother is awesome. It's kind of like a surreal moment to have it actually arrive. Uh, long build up and then to have that moment, signing the paper, being in the office and getting uh, the Spartan jacket and having my family there uh, was really awesome having Tyler there and obviously my family's excited about it as well because now they can see two of us at one game. Tyler is in his fifth year with Trinity Western University. Jordan is a freshman and says the pressure of playing up to his brother's standards is high. He's been super successful. He's been, had a massive voice on this team so just having that last name just it kind of puts a little bit of pressure, but it, it's an honor too, right? It's being able to live up to his expectations and uh, just follow in his footsteps. It's just, yeah, it's a really cool opportunity. Even the Spartans head coach says the Kozlowskis are valuable assets to his squad because of the family connection. It just so happens that they are brothers, so happens that it worked out for them to play on the same team, and I know that's really special for them. Being uh, They're really great friends, and it's really cool to have that on our team. And we preach brotherhood, and we do have brothers right on this team. Tyler and Jordan see this next year as a big opportunity to develop a closer bond between each other while maintaining their ultimate goal. That is to lead the Spartans to their fourth national championship title in 10 years and their first since 2012. Kyle Balzer in Langley for BCIT Magazine.